Hi, I'm Dan from Bowers Group. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new More and Right Premium Line Height Gauge. This 406 mil capacity height gauge is Swiss made in its entirety and has been designed for the most challenging workshop environments. Let's take a look at how we set the gauge up and how we operate it. So let's look at the basic setup and standard operations of this gauge. First of all, when I turn the gauge on using the on button, it's gonna ask me to reference. So if I bring the stylus past its reference point and then bring it back up, you'll hear a beep and it's happy that we've referenced the gauge. It's now asking and flashing for me to put my stylus in between the calibration artifacts and calibrate the stylus. Before I do that, let me just go on and explain each of these buttons. So button number, button zero is to zero this position of the stylus. This is my preset button. The blue button here is the switches between heights and diameters. Buttons number one and two, you can program to whatever you would like, so they're short key presses. Number three is your doubter function, so it gives you the, the difference between your previously measured points and where the stylus is currently. Number four switches between metric and imperial. Number five is your minimum and maximum function. Number six is your centerline callout. This is the print function, and we can hook up a, a printer with the gauge so that it prints out the, the readings. Number seven is my reference key, and I can have up to nine different references. Number eight is the resolution, so I can decide what the resolution is on the screen. And number nine is my calibration button, but I'll show you that now. So to calibrate the stylus, bring the stylus in between the artifact. It doesn't matter whether you measure the top first and then the bottom or the other way around. Today, I'm going to measure the bottom first. Apply the force using the hand wheel, bring the stylus up and then do that one more time. And you should hear a double beep this time to know that we've successfully calibrated the stylus. So I'm in reference one and I'm measuring in metric at the moment. If I switch that and then now I'm measuring in inches. If I bring the stylus to the base, I'm gonna set that as my reference number one. So now everywhere that I, everything that I measure is gonna be with the, the granite base as my reference. So to measure simple heights, I just bring the stylus onto the job, apply the force, wait for to hear the beep and, it, and the readout is there. You'll notice that it's a dual display. So we've got two lines. The top one is my current position. And then if I go ahead and take a second measurement, you'll see that the second line is still fixed with my previously measured point. If I measure the second point, then I can see that um, this, is, this point is 2.8 from the base to the stylus and the previously measured, this 1.8 is my gap between the previously measured point and the current position of the stylus. So to switch from heights to diameters, just push the blue button on the bottom right and now the gauge is going to be looking for a diameter. So if I take the stylus and put it somewhere near the bottom of my diameter, or somewhere near the top, it doesn't matter, either way is fine. Apply the force and wait for you to wait for the gauge to beep. Drag the part, drag the stylus through the part and then lift it to the top. And the gauge is making really clever decisions to, to decide the minimum and maximum point and then to calculate the diameter. So sweep it across the top, here for the double beep, and then you can see that there's the 81 is my diameter and 73 is the position from the center line of the diameter to the base. So to measure a minimum or a maximum feature, if I hit key number five, then firstly it's gonna be looking for a minimum. So if I pick up on this feature here, apply a force and then just let the stylus drag over the part 
and it's just gonna, the bottom line is gonna be blocking out when it gets to the low point and the top line is staying as my live reading.